We all know Nashville is a super generous community and our nonprofit organizations are second to none. Many of them giving people who've lived difficult lives a second chance at success and Dismas House is one of them. Helping returning citizens as they're called there, that's those who've been released from prison, navigate the transition back into society. Joining us now in the WSMV studios, <laughs> Christina and David Arquette. It is such a thrill to have you both here. Thanks Thank for having you. us. And here you are the honorary co-chairs of the annual forgiveness oh, luncheon. For Dismas House, it's a big event. You know, David, we've known you on the big screen, of course. Many of you, though, may not know that Christina has produced films. She also, we work together. We used to in TV yeah. yes. in Texas. I mean, yeah, in Texas. In Dallas, Gosh, yeah. such a mystery. Um, but you guys have been producing films on the justice system yeah. and those impacted. So, David, what sparked this interest in the first place? Oh, gosh. I, uh taught an acting class at San Quentin and wow. sort of went in and met all these wonderful people and just, you know, and, and then we did a, a film called Survivor's Guide to Prison and it got wow. us more interested in helping. We also executive produced The First Step, which is a documentary about Van Jones uh, trying to pass the First Step Act, which is a federal bill and underneath um, that federal bill about 20,000 people have come home. But those 20,000 people when they come home, which in my humble opinion very important, is reentry services, yes. and that's where a place like Dismas House comes in. Well, it's fascinating that just today we just read the breaking news about Huge those news. with marijuana, but you know, burdens I'm going to call are going to be boom out. And what do you do when you've got no skills, no support, no education? I know statistically in Tennessee, 70 percent of those released from prison will reoffend within three years. 50 percent will return to prison within three years. So, how do you guys, as just individuals, help in an effort like this? And how do you volunteer at Dismas? What do you guys? Well, Dismas is an incredible campus. They uh, have four pillars where they help you with uh, your basic needs, uh, health services, legal, legal, and uh, job job creation. So yeah. that really like that gives them a, a helping hand. And you meet the people there; they're just wonderful. They really want to, you know, be contribute to society and and really sort of. A lot of, you know, I've met a lot of people through this space and, mm -hmm. and you know. They're just human beings yes, that need exactly. love, right? <laughs> it's all yeah. about love. And it I think, really is. I think what's really important too is, is the authenticity of how we found this Miss House. We actually, actually stumbled upon it wanting to volunteer locally in our community. And one of the things you can do is you can sign up to cook dinner and serve mm -hmm. it to the residents. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we first were introduced to Dismiss House. And what's really important is when we're reading statistics, you know, for me personally, making films and being in this space, the statistics go away because you meet the person, mm -hmm. right? And so, you know, how can we help someone, um, you know, uh, in the reentry space, they need support, they need love, they need forgiveness, mm -hmm. and that's why we're putting together this forgiveness luncheon, which is going to be next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, and you can go online at dismiss.org and learn more about how you can get involved in this forgiveness luncheon. And I think the theme of forgiveness is so important. <laughs> it in is. Our, as a it's mother, everything. as a wife, it as a person. started by a priest in Vanderbilt University. Yeah. And uh, Dismas was the name of someone who was next to Jesus on the cross. <laughs> oh. Who asked I don't for even his forgiveness. That. And that's why it's called <laughs> oh. the Forgiveness Luncheon. No, that's really sweet. We just saw those pictures. There's amazing speakers that you're going to hear. It's so moving. I've been many years. Oh. Um, and I was always intimidated to serve dinner because <laughs> I don't it's know. So it's so fun. Yeah, it's so, really so cool. one of the most. So it's yeah. one of the most incredible things. And actually, I am. We screened one of our films there, the first step, and we served dinner, and then we screened the first 45 minutes of the film, and we talked about it with residents and also with some wow. of the graduates. Um, so I can't. I, there's so many ways to get involved on a community level, and I think once you do get involved and you meet the residents and the incredible staff at Dismiss. Um, it will make you want to do more in this space. Oh, love it. Love you guys. Thank you for Thanks being for a part of our us. community. I'm so happy to be reunited I know. with I'm you. I'm really happy to see you. I hope Marius and I and you two will serve dinner together <laughs> yes, one day absolutely. at Dismas. Because that would be super, super fun. There's the information for the Forgiveness Luncheon. If you're interested, you can get an individual seat. You might even be able to sponsor a table at this point. Bring your checkbook. Just know that's going to be part of it. If you even do checkbooks anymore, I don't know. <laughs> Bring your phone. But the QR code will scan it. So again, thank you. And thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So much it. fun.